Hey, it's Genoa with The Crafty Mess. I'm doing a little bit different type of video. If this is your first time, please subscribe, like, share with your crafty friends. If you're joining me from already being a subscriber, thank you for coming back. I appreciate having you here so much. So what I'm doing right now is a Mother Day card. I got the design from Cricut Design Space. I'm adding some Wink of Stella glitter shimmer pen to the word Happy Mother's Day. It's going to give it like a glitter finish, even though it's just a regular print and cut. And then I did something a little bit different. I made the flowers in the bouquet on this card a print and cut image as well. And I'm also going to be using the Wink of Stella pen on the print and cut image. I just found it so much easier than cutting out those tiny bits of cardstock. I tried cutting them out initially and they were so small that I was losing pieces. It just wasn't working. Glue was everywhere. It was much easier for me to do it this way. So instead of using cards, glitter cardstock, I just went ahead and used my Wink of Stella glitter pen. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking the jar that the bouquet is going to be quote unquote sitting in and I am adding a little bit of glossy accents to that and that is going to need some time to dry so I probably should have done this as the first step but hey I wouldn't be Genoa from a crafty mess if I did things right the first time right anyways I'm adding that glossy accents that's going to give it a kind of like a glass like finish and also give it some dimension so it won't just be a flat piece of paper and you'll see exactly what I mean by that at the end of the video when you see the finished product. So all those card panels I had already previously cut out and added some double-sided tape to the back of them. I like the Elizabeth Craft double-sided tape. It's really strong adhesive. It's easy to cut and it lasts a long time. So I'm just taking the backings off of the adhesive and trying to line them up as much as possible. I'm going to add my art glitter glue to the border so that I'll have some time to adjust it exactly where I need it to be before it dries. And then I'm going to also add some dimensionals to the backs of my word, my outline, and my flowers. And that way it'll have some height. What I'm showing you now is how I initially tried cutting it out of cardstock. But once I got that very first leaf down, I was like, no way. This is not it. And I decided to go back to the drawing board and flatten everything into a print cut image. So much easier and just as cute. All right, so I'm adding dimensionals, adding dimensionals, taking the little backings off and assembling my flower bouquet on top of my black outline. And I was having the hardest time figuring out which direction it went in, plus all the little bits of tape not tape but glue was driving me absolutely bonkers so I finally figured it out laid my little flowers down and then now I'm gonna do the same and add the dimensionals to the back of my happy mother's day okay so I'm gonna get that place just where I want it the last thing is for me to put the glass onto this and so I had to wait for that to dry but now that it's dry, let me show you the finished product. You can see where it really gives it a shine and a dimension and makes it look just like it is actual glass. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for watching. See me next time when I'm going to do my next craft. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Thank you until next time. Bye.